Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to add metadata to a photo inside of Photoshop. This is going to be a short one. So if I come over here and I open up my folder, I have some cities here that I have downloaded from pexels.com. And if I choose this one right here, and I drag it down and drop it on the Photoshop icon, it's going to pop it right open. And all I need to do to access the metadata for this photo is go up to File, File Info. And by opening that, it's going to show me all of the metadata options that are available inside photo, uh, Photoshop. So as you can see, I'm going to stick with basic for this one, but you can definitely go through and see if there's other uh, metadata information that you would like to input. And in this case, you can see right there I've titled this one Austin, although it is clearly not Austin, Texas. And in the metadata description, I've written Dallas. Let's go ahead and change that back to Austin, just so it's consistent. And when we're done, you can hit return. Actually, you don't need to hit return, just come down and click OK. And just like that, we've changed the metadata. And we can then go up to File, Save, and that will save that JPEG. And then we can close this file. Now, just to show you that that worked, let's go back and open that one more time. We'll go to open that folder back up, which is in my downloads, and here it is. Okay, so back to these images, and you can see it was saved at 345 today, so it definitely uh, changed something. But notice one thing. The file gets a lot bigger when you just save it. I could have exported it as a JPEG, um, and that would have compressed it more. So just notice there's going to be a little bit of file uh, size uh, getting larger if you, uh, if you just opt to use the save option. But let's go ahead and grab it, drag it to the Photoshop icon, pops it open, and then if we go back to file, file info, you can now see it says Austin in the description where it used to say Dallas. So the point is, is that you don't need to do anything special. Just open it up, type in what you want, click OK, and then to save it, you can just go to File Save. Now, since I haven't made any changes, it's not going to let me save it again. If I wanted to export a smaller version and avoid the uh, size getting bigger, I could go to Export, Export As, and that would give me the option to choose both the format, I could save it as a JPEG, but I could lower the quality, and you can see if you look over here, now it's only gonna save it as 1.3 megabytes. So if size is an issue, you might wanna export it rather than uh, just choosing the save option. In this case, I'm gonna cancel that because I'm okay with having a five megabyte photo. Cool, hope that helped.